Midtown Palestine, Aaron Cater. Hey, you guys, thanks for coming out. What a beautiful crowd, beautiful crowd, beautiful, beautiful. Thanks for coming. My name's Aaron Cater. I'm a Palestinian. Any uh, Palestinians here? Yeah. yeah, usually Arabs don't come to a comedy show. I mean, it's really difficult. I mean, in the past, Arabs would come to the comedy show, but they'd sit in the back in the dark and go, yeah, that was funny, I like that. That's very good. Very funny, very good. Hilarious, my friend, seriously. That's almost very, you can almost hear me laugh. It's that good, it's that good. Yeah. Anyone who thinks Arabs don't have a sense of humor, I will kill you and burn your flag. I will do it. We have a very good sense of humor. My grandfather, when he immigrated to this country, his name was Abu Khader. But then at Ellis Island, they changed his name to Cater. So my last name's Cater. So if I ever have a child, if it's a boy, I'll definitely name him Al. Al Cater. It's a good name. Yeah. If I have a girl, I'll name her Darth. Darth Cater. That's a sweet name. Yeah. My dad, uh, my dad comes from a Palestinian family, and my mom comes from a Mormon family from Utah. Yeah. Any, any Palestinian Mormons here? Mor Mormons are another group that never comes to see comedy. They just feel guilty immediately if they laugh, you know. Like, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I have to repent. Growing up, Palestinian two people would be like, what are you, Greek, Italian, Jewish, what are you, Palestinian? Pakistilian, what the hell is a Pakistilian? Pakistilia, that sounds made up. So where is Pakistilia? Like, there's no such country as Pakistilia. I guess there's no Palestine either. Uh, you ever heard of Israel? Oh, so you're Jewish. How many rocks do we have to throw? God damn! I mean, we're responsible for like half the terrorism in the last 50 years, huh? Let's pronounce it right. Palestine, Palestine, Palestine. Jeez, hurry. <laughs> Whatever, Jew. Jeez. I have my own little mission, my own little personal mission, which is to go back to the homeland, right? Go see where my grandma came from. Go visit. I got hundreds of cousins that I've just heard about, you know, never met. So, you know, over the years, I've been there a few times. I went, I went over there after 9-11, and, and I was visiting a cousin in Amman, Jordan, right? And I'm driving around with my cousin who's like... Oh, bitching and moaning about America, right? You son of a bitch, America. America, I think you're so strong, so powerful, so big and strong. Arabs love to cuss in English. They cuss their heads off in English. They won't do it in Arabic, because then God could hear them, you know? But in English, no problem. God doesn't speak English. You know, you son of a bitch bastard. The United States think you're so big and strong and powerful. This is bull. United States, you are a paper tiger. You will fall. You will see. Yeah. You hungry? You want something to eat? You hungry? We got Burger King, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Applebee's. There's a new place called TAIF. Fridays looks good. You, you don't want? You look tired. You, uh, you want coffee? We got Starbucks. You like a Starbucks? The Starbucks, -a. I like that place. They got the frappuccino. I like that. That's a good. That's a good. Drink. Have you had? You, oh, oh, you've had the. Oh, you've had back in the United States. You son of a bitch. United States think they own everything. Bull. Which hotel you going to? Cheraton, Hilton, Marriott. Where are you going? And I had to stop my cousin in the middle of this, and I was like, uh, "Listen, Fayez." If America goes down, we're taking Snickers and Coke and Pepsi and Twix. You know, we're not leaving a McNugget behind. You understand? <laughs> we go down, it all goes down with us. And he got mad. As <laughs> stops the car. No, 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 no. You leave these things. <laughs> leave the Skittle and Kit Kat and the Baby Ruth. You want to take something? Take KFC. I don't like the honey wings. <laughs> what the hell is a honey wing? Like honey flies with wings. That's American propaganda. <laughs> America just dominates with products. Like, I climbed the top of Mount Sinai, where Moses spoke to God. Who did I speak to? A little Egyptian kid with an igloo cooler going, Lipton, Pepsi, Snickers, yeah, you want? Huh? 
Yeah. How mystical and magical up here. I'll have a Snickers, sure. But that's how we do it. We just have product. I mean, you have a 100% chance anywhere on earth of finding a Coke. You'll never go without a Coke or a Pepsi or a Snickers, man. You can find it 100% of the time everywhere. You know, you have better than a 50-50 shot of finding a McDonald's. I mean, other ethnicities, they can't find that. I mean, like, there's a Chinatown in every big city in North America, but they don't have a candy bar that sells very well. You know what I mean? They don't have, I mean, the only reason I can think of is that we don't like sesame seeds in our candy bars, right? But other than that, there's a Chinatown in every big, I mean, how, how many Chinatowns do you need to see, right? Once you've seen one Chinatown, you've kind of seen them all. There's green dragons and orange chicken and peanut sauce. I get it. Yeah. But Americans don't really leave this country to go set up little American communities in other countries, do we? No, but we do it. We call them military bases. It's just, it's just a different way of spreading our, our thing. We have military bases in 149 countries, and I was like, I didn't know there were 149 countries on Earth. That's a lot of... Con I like the way we went to war because I like... The Every time Bush approaches the podium, he does one of these. <laughs> oh, he has hands out. I think. I don't know why, but he always gets that look in his face before he talks like... Say some <laughs> right? I'm serious. This is Bush's serious face. I'm serious. Like, why are you smiling? Because I'm serious. <laughs> Remember, we went to war. Like, he comes out and he looks at the pony. He goes, he looks right in the camera. And he goes, hey, Saddam. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, what, is Saddam in Baghdad watching CNN? Like, oh, my God, is he talking to me? Holy crap, man. Go order some pizza. Let's TiVo this. Look. The president is threatening me. But hey, Saddam, we're sick and tired of your games. Understand? Sick and tired. He gets so sick and tired. He is, you can always sense it when he's in a press conference, because when he gets questions, he always does this. Uh, that's a serious problem. Uh, we'll take care of it. Next question. Uh, I wish Bush would get it. I mean, sometimes Bush deflects questions. You know, like, he'll get the question and he'll just deflect it all together and just say some things we already know. Like, you know, look, you want to get somewhere, you walk or you run. You understand? Like, we're stupid. You know what I mean? You get on a bus or a bike or a motorcycle or a train or a car. So in so many ways you can go, all right? Or you fly. Next question. Thanks. Thanks, Dr. Phil. <laughs> There's that situation up. I wish Bush would snap at a press conference one time. Wouldn't that be great if he just, like, lost his cool? Like, he was at an outdoor press conference, lost his speech in the wind, his little earpiece falls out, and he has to improvise. You know, gets that one question from Helen Thomas he doesn't want to deal with. You know, and just goes... <laughs> How about f you, all right? How about that? You f you, all right? They're brown, sane people. Okay? They should get all that sand together and make themselves some body scrub exfoliate themselves. They're all mother <laughs> trust me. Next question. <laughs> if Bush just came out and called everybody in the Middle East a mother <laughs> don't you think half of America, maybe more than half, would go? I like that right there. That's honest. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, thanks for coming out tonight. Thanks.